burning forests, thawing permafrost, melting glaciers, and declining ice cover are damaging the natural Arctic ecosystem. We turn our gaze to this remote region, encircled by the Arctic Ocean. For decades, it has been a key destination of our boreal endeavors, sustaining the economics of neighboring states. But now the Arctic itself requires urgent rescue, a project on a scale that dwarfs all previous human undertakings. Gennady Ivanov is one of the artists at the forefront of raising awareness of the global climate emergency. His own mantra is, art hurts. When the truth hurts, it is even more important to portray it. Gennady Ivanov's paintings have a distinctive communicative power. With the raw energy of color and motion, Gennady captures his subject with elements of pure stillness, an absolute likeness suggesting sensations or emotions that are instantly recognizable. The immediacy gives Ivanov's work an unusual broad appeal, as audiences are drawn to paintings that are brilliantly beautiful and perfectly legible. Gennady Ivanov believes that artists can be catalysts for change. Artists can play an important role in raising awareness, drawing a new audience and participants, and helping inspire action. I believe what I have the artistic techniques, skills, and imagination to help make a difference. The purpose of Climate Works now is to give an opportunity to connect with landscapes at the forefront of climate change. The data, the hard work by scientists is extremely important, but I thought I need to add kind of emotional zine, kind of connection, what an art is able to give to the viewer. Ivanov is a prolific, sometimes controversial artist who was born in Russia, lived in Belarus, and has been a resident in the UK for the last 15 years. His techniques and styles and exceptional imagination are well suited to portraying and communicating the many dimensions of what can seem to be an overwhelming challenge. Giant pits of collapsing soil are some of the most striking scars left on the landscape by the climate change. Methane gas escaping from thawing permafrost is crisscrossing the canvas's white lines. Giant cliffs rise from the depth of these elemental scars. The pits often reveal fossils of Ice Age animals. Mammoths and prehistoric bears emerge from their slumber for the first time in tens of thousands of years, illuminated by the Aurora Borealis, a truly chilling encounter. Ivanov is working in a unique pioneering collaboration with climate scientists Professor John Pomery and Trevor Davis, and the works on display result from this interdisciplinary collaboration known as the Transitions Project. Transitions is part of Global Water Futures, which is the largest university-based freshwater research program in the world. Global Water Futures has taken a global leadership role in water science in the world's coldest regions, focusing on the interconnections amongst climate change, the hydrological cycle, snow and ice, sustainable development, and the security of water supply and quality. Professor Trevor Davis gives us more details on the climate emergency. Uh, the cold regions of Russia and Canada are experiencing some of the most dramatic of impacts from climate change. Um, and I think that Gennady's paintings really do express that drama. Uh, John Pomeroy and I first started working with Gennady Ivanov almost two years ago. Uh, we were impressed by his range of styles, his, his stunning portrayals of scenes and, and stories and his willingness to get into the science of climate change. Ivanov and his two science colleagues have worked together in the field for some of these landscapes to capture the essence of these impacts in visual art, producing impressions and imaginations of the forms 
the significance of which has been identified by the dictating science and which short narratives of the relevant science accompany. On the field expeditions, Ivanov battled the elements to produce sketches of cold, snowy, icy and remote environments. This small work is an example of his field sketches. The dark pigment for the accents and shadows is real soil. Its presence as a medium within the work stands as irrevocable proof of receding snow cover exposing thawing soil. Professor John Pomeroy tells us why the project was so important to him. In these regions, the permafrost thaws rapidly, creating thermokarst and drunken forest landscape collapse. Where there are glaciers, they are retreating dramatically, many having loss of half of their ice mass in the last 50 years. Wildfires have ravaged the circumpolar north, occurring even through the winter in smoldering peat and then springing up again in the summer. Gennady Ivanov has captured the spirit and essence of the science and the dramatic change that is encompassing our circumpolar world. The vast cold regions of Russia and Canada extend far southwards of the Arctic Circle. This summer has been the hottest on record. The Arctic sea ice is thinning and contracting. Vast tracts of the permafrost zones in Russia and Canada are collapsing. Vegetation and peat fires are now extensive. The red hues in this painting of the circumpolar regions by Gennady Ivanov are an artistic metaphor for this very dramatic changes. Red, yellow and purple hues are a visual motif across the exhibition. They highlight the wounds left on the landscape by the human-induced climate change. Climate change is scarring our planet. In the ever-growing plethora of environmental catastrophes, the most dramatic is the effect on the Northern Hemisphere. Russia and Canada hold the vast majority of the total area of the region. The threat of the current pandemic is nothing in comparison to what can happen to the planet if we do not address the issues in this area. The catastrophe can still be averted, but it requires a rapid and unprecedented response.